Hi, welcome to this uh, Sinners Music video on mapping the Behringer BCF2000 MIDI controller, uh, which we have over here, to uh, Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. Uh, the reason for doing this is that uh, it's, it, it can be slightly complicated, um, but there are a couple of quite good um, mapping presets that, uh, that are easy to work with. Okay, and the first thing to do is to actually have a good once you've got your uh, BCF 2000, is have a really good look at the Behringer website because um, there's lots of really useful information here. Uh, I have to say, I didn't think the, the, the actual standard um, documentation wasn't particularly good. Um, but there is a quick guide. The, the one document you really, really need here is the uh, B Control BCF 2000 emulation modes document. Um, that will allow you to be able to put the uh, the BCF 2000 into the right mode so that it will it will work with Reaper. Okay, and uh, so once you've got that document, uh, and I've got a copy of it here, uh, it tells you exactly what to do. There's lots of different emulation modes, um, but you'll need to put the BC, uh, BCF2000 into Mackie mode, but Mackie mo mode for Sonar 3, which is MCS with a small o. And when it's in that mode, um, it looks like this, and you can see there, uh, it actually says N, but that's, that's telling me that the 2000 is in Mackie mode and it's mapped to the Sonar 3 presets okay um, what I've done here is I've just added because uh, mutes in mutes in a certain place as is shift and record uh, but things like zero stop end all of that sort of stuff um, works really really well with Reaper okay so once we you've followed those instructions and there is a really really good little um, diagram which I end, end up printing off when I find it it's down here somewhere uh, that's one of the templates, that's the Nuendo one. Uh, there, that's the one. Uh, that I printed that off because it's really, really useful. It tells you exactly what um, key configurations you need to, to press and it, and it maps exactly to, to Reaper 3 or Reaper 4. I've just upgraded to Reaper 4. One thing to be careful with Reaper it does say on the Reaper website when you do upgrades that uh, it will keep all of your settings. It will not keep your 2000 settings. So you have to start again from scratch by putting it in. You, you don't have to reset up the, uh, the BCF2000, but you do have to set up Reaper from scratch. Right, so once the, the uh, 2000 is set up into Mackie mode for, and set for Sonar, uh, let's go through the process of actually starting the whole thing. As I've said, I would always start first by switching this on. Um, check that we're in the Mackie mode, which it is, and all of the faders have reset themselves. Now, if I now start Reaper, what should happen but in this case won't uh, because I've, I've made alterations is that uh, it should automatically map and in here we should have zero one and the fader should move into the first row um, that's not happened okay so what we need to do is we need to change the settings on Reaper so if we go and look at here's my Reaper settings And the first thing we need to do on here, we need to check a couple of things. One is we need to check um, the MIDI devices that the BCF2000 is disabled. Now we do that by going options and choosing preferences. That gives us this box here. And under audio we have devices and MIDI devices. When we click on devices we must make sure that the BCF2000 is, is disabled in both 
um, inputs and outputs. Okay, uh, I'm actually using an Mbox here, so that actually needs to be enabled, but the BCF2000 definitely needs to be disabled here. We then go and scroll down and we look close to the bottom, there is the control surfaces. We click on control surface and in here we'll see the, the two. There's one, the BCF2000 and there is Mackie control. Now, the confusion here normally would be we think, oh, the BCF2000 is the one I want. No, you actually need the Mackie control. So single click on Mackie control, then click on edit. That will then give us a, a control surface settings pop-up box and in the MIDI input and output we need to make sure that we select the BCF2000. Um, as I've said, uh, whenever you do an upgrade on Reaper it seems to lose these settings so be careful about that. Um, the thing about the size tweak, it says leave leave at 9 unless you know what you're doing. I've actually set mine to 27, um, but if you don't know what you're doing I would advise you to leave it to 9. Leave everything else as it is. Um, the surface offset track, if you don't want to have track, the master track is track 1, then you, uh, then you would select 1 in there and it would start at track 1, if that makes sense. Uh, we click OK on that and automatically on my controller I see that there is a connection and we've gone over to one. Okay, uh, click OK and then you're good to go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much. See you again soon.